Welcome to Honeybee Yoga Studio. My name is Lindsay and I create yoga classes aimed at making you feel fantastic. And if you've never tried yoga before, you're looking at trying it out, you're a beginner, this beginner series is for you. So today we're going to do a few simple stretches, kind of acquaint ourselves to a few of the more foundational moves of a yoga practice. We're going to stay nice and low to our mats, no standing. So let's get started. We're going to start in a seated posture, um, attention hungry cat optional. If you want to cross your legs, you can cross them. You can have nice long legs. If you want, you can always sit on a pillow, which can elevate those hips and take a little bit of the strain out of your knees and your hips. So we always start and finish our practice in the same way by taking a few long, slow, deep breaths in stillness, option to close our eyes. So as we feel ourselves getting nice and comfortable, we can maybe feel those eyelids get heavy. As we inhale, feel a nice long spine. The crown of your head reaches up to the sky. And as you exhale, allow your body to release into the earth beneath you. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. And really the purpose is to tune out to the outside world so that we can start to tune in to our inside world. So forgetting about our chores, our to-do lists, and just allowing ourselves to feel our breath as it flows in and out of our body. And as we move, allow ourselves to feel the movements, feel our muscles, and feel our body. Let's take about three more big breaths. So purposely following that breath as it enters through your mouth or nostrils traveling down to your chest, your belly, and then a slow and steady exhale, going at your pace, whatever feels good for you. After that last breath escapes, we'll slowly open our eyes. We'll let those hands come down by our side if they aren't there already. As we inhale, we're gonna sweep our hands wide and tall up to the sky. And as we exhale, those hands are going to be wide and heavy back to the earth. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale, wide and tall. And then exhale, wide and heavy. We're going to inhale again to sweep our hands up to the sky. And this time when we exhale, that right hand is going to come into the earth beside our right hip. And that left hand is going to reach to the right side. So that left hand is reaching. We want to feel both bum cheekers heavy in the ground. And maybe our gaze comes up towards the ceiling. So with our inhales, we like to create space, expand our rib cage, lengthen our spine. And with our exhales, we just allow ourselves to relax a little bit and settle into posture. Let's take another big inhale here, really stretch that left hand. And then as we exhale, we're just gonna float to the opposite side. So both hands lift up to the sky. Left hand comes down beside that left hip. Right hand reaches this time to the left side. So again, both bum cheekers are heavy in the ground. Maybe our gaze comes up to the ceiling. Nice big inhales, that chest expands, our back body expands. And as you exhale, just sink a little deeper into that left arm. One more big breath here, big inhale. And then as we exhale, we'll lift just that right hand and have it come back beside that right hip. 
We're going to take both of our hands and we're going to reach them towards each other at our low spine behind us. Maybe our fingertips touch, maybe we're able to interlace those fingertips. Whatever feels good, whatever works for your body, no matter what, we're going to start to reach those hands a little bit closer to the ground behind us. As we pull those hands towards the ground behind us, those shoulders are going to pull away from our jaw, away from our ears, our heart, our chest is going to open forward, and let's lift that gaze up to the sky. We can take nice big breaths here, a nice open throat. We might call this a heart opener or a back bend as we're opening our heart in front of us and our back is bending a little bit behind us. Let's take another big breath here, really breathe space into those shoulders. And as you exhale, we'll release those hands forward. Now we're going to come on to hands and knees into what's called tabletop and if we're um, having cross legs we can roll over top those knees bringing our hands to the ground or whatever way feels good for you to make your way into our tabletop. So those hands are pressing into the earth, we have long arms, shoulders are stacked above our hands. We want to press through our shoulders so that we have a nice lifted chin. We don't want to sink forward, we want to lift. Our knees are bent behind us. We can have our toes in the earth or the top of our feet in the earth. And our hips are generally stacked above those knees. We have a nice long spine, crown of our head reaches forward, tailbone pulls behind. And this is our tabletop. Yours might look a little different than mine, and that's totally fine. We're just aiming for what feels good for our body today. From here, we're going to move into our cat and cow breaths. So to come into our happy little cow, our spine is going to start to smile. So that belly button dips down towards the earth. Our gaze, our chin lifts up, maybe up towards the ceiling. And that tailbone, the base of our spine, lifts up to the ceiling as well. So almost like our spine is smiling, we have our happy cow. And with our heart open in front of us, we take a nice big inhale. And then when we're ready to move into our angry cat, we're going to do all of the opposite motions. So that gaze is going to come down towards your knees. Your spine is going to reach up towards the sky. We're pressing through our hands, pressing through our knees. Looks like our spine is frowning. And we exhale into our angry cat. And as you exhale, you might feel you can press that spine up a little bit higher to the sky. So we're going to move through our cat and cow breath usually for about maybe four to six rounds on each our cat and our cow. So just let your breath guide the way, let your body move how it feels good. And you don't have to stick to an inhale in your happy little cow and an exhale in your angry cat. You can do what feels good, especially as you're learning and exploring these shapes. So in our angry cat, we're really pressing through those hands and knees. That gaze is towards our knees. Our spine is reaching up to the sky. And in our happy little cow, as our spine smiles, our tailbone, the crown of our head lifts up to the sky, and that belly button dips. So hopefully as you're doing this, you're beginning to find some space in your spine. Maybe with big breaths, you're also finding space through your shoulder blades, through your rib cage. And at any time in your practice, inviting organic movement is definitely allowed. So in your cat cow, for example, it might feel good to bend your elbows as you transition through your cat and cow. It might feel good to send those hips a little bit closer towards your heels as you're moving. Again, it's whatever feels good. 
So let's finish whatever position we're in, and we're going to find ourselves back in our version of tabletop. So we have those hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips, crown of our head reaches forward, tailbone reaches behind. We're going to extend that right leg to the right side. Option for that foot to be flat into the earth. So kind of like we have a little kickstand out to the right side. And just notice any differences you might feel here. Maybe that inner right thigh is getting a nice stretch. And then from here, we're going to walk our hands back towards that left knee, up towards our hips, as we lift tall. So you'll notice in a lot of yoga postures that we like to have um, stacking anatomical alignment. So our hips are stacked above that knee, shoulders stacked above our hips. We're going to take a nice bend here by inhaling and sweeping our hands tall. Then as we exhale, that right hand is going to rest gently on our right leg. Left hand reaches to the right side. Just like our seated bend, maybe our gaze comes up towards the ceiling. You might feel a greater opening through your hip flexors, through that left side body. With our left hand lifted, let's bring a rotation through that left wrist, just making circles nice and slow in one direction, and then in the opposite. And we're going to take one last big breath, really reach with that left hand to the right side. And as you exhale, we're going to sweep that left hand down to the earth, somewhere beside our left knee our right arm reaches up to the sky. So we have a nice long line here, long right leg, and here we're just going to make some circles with our right arm. So all the way from our fingertips to our shoulders, we're just sweeping, making big circles, opening up that right shoulder. Paying attention to our breath, seeing how this feels for us today. And then let's rotate that arm in the opposite direction. For our last breath, we'll come to stillness. And we're going to reach that right hand all the way towards the top of our mat, top of our practice area. Right bicep is above our right ear. Nice big stretch. And then we're going to walk our hands to come back underneath our shoulders as we move back to our tabletop. So once hands are under shoulders, let's bring that right knee back beside its left partner. Take any shimmies, any shakes, wiggles, wobbles to feel nice and sturdy. And then we'll do the same on the opposite side. So we're going to lengthen that left leg to the left side. Option for your foot to be nice and flat on the earth. Walking our hands back to that right knee this time and lifting tall. So once again, right knee on the ground, hips above our knees, shoulders above those hips. This time folding to the left side, we inhale those hands tall, and then left arm rests gently on that left leg, and we reach that right hand to the left side. We're keeping those hips forward. If we can, gaze comes up to the ceiling. You might find one side of your body feels a little different than the other side, and that's perfectly normal. Let's take one more big inhale, reaching that right hand to the left side. And then as we exhale, we're going to sweep down to the floor. Right hand comes somewhere beside that right knee. Left arm up to the sky. And just like last time, we're going to make big circles with that left arm. I'm just realizing we didn't do wrist circles with that right hand, so we'll just catch up on those wrist circles at a different point in our practice. Let's move that left arm in the opposite direction. And then eventually that left arm is going to reach all the way above our head. Left bicep above our left ear. Nice big inhale, oh, and then let's walk those hands 
back to come underneath our shoulders. Bring that left knee back underneath its left hip next to its right partner. And from here, we're going to sink into what's called child's pose. So we're gonna have those big toes come together behind us. We're going to let our knees go nice and wide if you're using a yoga mat, maybe as wide as your yoga mat. And then we're gonna send our hips, our tailbone, back towards the heels of our feet. From here, we're going to walk our hands forward and we're going to let our upper body melt towards the ground. So our tailbone is pulling towards the heels of our feet. Our chest, our belly is melting towards the floor. And maybe you let your chin or your forehead come to rest on the earth. Other option, if you feel like the floor is too far away, you can always bend at your elbows and stack your hands, stack your fists, bring your chin, bring your forehead, whatever feels good for you. And we use this child's pose as a kind of little breath of respite, checking with our body, checking with our breath. We're going to take about two more breaths here. Taking nice big inhales. Feel your back body expand up to the ceiling. And then exhale, melting forward. We're going to start to lift our gaze. We're going to press up through those arms, bringing our knees together beneath our hips. We'll pivot our feet to one side, come down onto our bum cheekers, and we're going to let our legs go nice and wide. So whenever our legs are really wide like this, we'll call it a straddle. So today we'll be on the floor of our straddle. In the next video of this series, we'll be standing in the straddle. So you can have your legs as wide apart or as narrow as feels okay for you. If you find keeping your legs straight puts a little bit of a strain on your knee, you can always put a pillow, rolled up towel underneath those knees to take away some of the strain. If you have really tight hamstrings, that might feel good. We're going to try to keep those toes lifting up towards the ceiling, and we're going to take a couple of folds. So first, we're going to turn to look at those left toes. We're going to turn as much of our shoulders to face those toes as we can. We're going to have a nice long spine and we're going to start to walk our hands down our leg. So we're going to start to reduce the amount of space between our upper body and that left leg. We're going to try to keep a nice long spine, so avoiding hunching over. Really try to feel like your forehead, the crown of your head is doing the reaching. If you want, those hands can come to the inside of that leg. Let's take a nice big inhale here. Exhale, release a millimeter closer to that left leg. Let's do that one more time. At your pace, a big inhale and exhale. We're going to slowly lift ourselves back up. We're going to walk towards center. Since I forgot that poor left wrist when we were doing our ballet bridge, we're going to lift those hands up. We're going to interlace our fingers, and we're just going to roll both of our wrists in one direction. And then in the opposite direction. And I hope that my forgetfulness is a good lesson of having grace in your practice, not getting too worked up about how you look or how I look and comparing yourself to what you're watching on TV or an instructor or someone you're practicing beside. Just going with the flow, doing what feels good. We'll release those hands and this time we're going to go to the right side. So let's bring those shoulders to shine towards the right side. Heart reaches towards those right toes. Again, we'll try to keep them lifted. We'll take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to fold towards that right foot. So again, we're gonna to try to keep a nice long spine. We'll avoid hunching and folding over. 
So you can have those hands on your leg, hands on either side of that leg. A nice long inhale, feel the length of that spine. And then exhale, release a millimeter closer. Let's do that one more time. Nice big inhale and exhale. With our inhale, we'll walk back up nice and tall, come to face forward, and this time we'll fold forward. So just like before, we'll take a nice big inhale to feel length, and then as you exhale, we'll walk our hands forward. And so again, you can walk as far forward as feels good for you. You could always bring a chair in front of you and rest your arms on the chair if folding forward too much wasn't really what you're feeling for. If you're feeling really um, mobile today, you can always come down onto your forearms. But again, we're going to try to keep that spine nice and long and avoid kind of folding over. Toes lifting up to the ceiling, and we'll take two final breaths in our straddle fold. Whenever our next inhale comes, we'll come back up nice and tall. From here, we're going to bring the soles of our feet together in front of us. So the soles of our feet are together, our knees are bent, and this is called our butterfly or our cobbler's pose. So you can have your feet further away, you can have your feet closer together, or sorry, closer to your midsection. So whatever feels okay for you. We're just going to stay here for one big breath. I'm gonna have a nice long spine. Maybe it feels good to wrap those hands around your wrists. Nice long arms. And this time when we exhale to fold, we're going to allow our spine to round a little bit. As we enjoy our fold, maybe send that breath towards your back body. Feel those shoulder blades move away from each other. Take one last big breath, and when you're ready on the inhale, we'll lift nice and tall. And then from here, we're going to lengthen our legs forward. So have those legs come nice and close together. And again, just like in our straddle fold, um, if your hamstrings are really tight and it feels kind of uncomfortable to feel your knees come all the way to the ground. You can roll up a towel, put it underneath those knees, put a pillow underneath your knees. And this is our staff pose where we have those toes lifting up to the sky, long legs, a nice tall spine, crown of our head reaches up to the sky. It should feel fairly active. We're using those hip flexor muscles, our core, to keep our body lifted. And then from here, we're going to transition into a gentle little twist. So we're going to take that right knee, we're going to use our hands, and we're going to bend into that right knee and hug it up towards our body. From here, we're just going to start to allow our gaze to come to the right side. We can move those hands around that right knee to support our twist to the right side. If you want to, that right hand can come behind your right hip. It's whatever your body feels like today. And while we're twisting, a little bit of a stretch, of course, feels fantastic, but you should not feel any pinching or any tightness. So if you feel like you've kind of gone too far, just allow yourself to ease back a little bit. We'll take one more breath in our twist on the right side, and then we'll move to the left side. So last big inhale, and we'll come back to facing forward. We'll hug that left knee in, 
and give it a nice big squeeze. And then we'll start to use that left knee to twist ourselves to the left side. So again, an option to bring that left hand behind your left hip. Try to keep those toes up towards the ceiling. A nice long spine. One more big inhale as we twist. And then we'll exhale to face forward. Long left leg. From here, we're going to come back onto our spines for our final stretch. We can bend into those knees, soles of the feet on the floor. We can bring our hands behind us. And we're going to slowly lower down, keeping those knees nice and bent until our spine, our head, and our shoulders are on the earth. So from here, we're gonna hug those knees into our chest, give them a nice big squeeze. This reclined um, posture we um, are in pretty often in our yoga practice, so hopefully it feels good. Then we're gonna move into what's called happy baby. So for our happy baby, we're gonna keep our thighs hugging into our low belly. We wanna keep those knees almost like they're magnetically attracted to our armpits. So they don't have to actually move to our armpits, but they feel like they want to. From here, we're going to lift our calves away from um, our thighs until our feet look like they want to high five the sky. Now from here, we can take our hands and we can hug them behind those knees and pull those thighs towards our belly. If you want, you can walk those hands up and grasp your uh, shins, you can hold on to those ankles, you can bring those fingertips all the way up to the outside um, edges of your feet. So whatever version of Happy Baby is speaking to you today, we'll enjoy this for a couple of breaths. And you can stay in stillness, maybe it feels good to gently rock side to side. yoga is about finding your personal comfort. So in all my in-person classes and my videos, I'm always saying, I'm like a broken record, do what feels good for you. You know, find what your body needs today. And what feels good today might feel different on a different day. So just kind of meeting yourself where you are today. If we're taking a gentle rock, we'll come to stillness. Together we will release our hands, we'll release those feet into the earth, keeping our knees nice and bent. Our final practice, our shavasana, is usually a, um, a laying on our spine position. Um, if having long legs in the earth doesn't feel great for you, no worries, you can keep those knees bent, and I would just suggest placing your feet nice and wide, and letting your knees knock together. So again, option to have those knees bent, or legs long in the earth. Checking in with those arms, you can have them by your side, palms open to the sky, you can have them resting on your belly, you can have them up by your head, elbows bent. And then just like the beginning of our practice, we'll take several long, deep breaths to kind of absorb the movement we just took. So maybe those eyelids get heavy and we really start to focus on the flow of our breath, how it feels on our inhale and exhale.
our stillness. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.